your Peter Valandis, your Justin Abdos, your Graham Annesley and the, the the head of the referees. You talk a big game, but are you going to walk a big game? Everyone's talking about the sacrifice the mighty Vodafone Warriors gave, having 1,038 days based over in Australia, playing no home games, giving their heart and soul to the, to the NRL comp, eating nothing but porridge, had not allowed shoes, wrapping their feet up and walking from the gulag to the game and playing and back to the gulag. They talk about all the love and the passion the Warriors gave to the comp. But what happens when it comes down to the average refing calls? Nelson Asafa Solomona basically got out an AK-47 and took out two Warriors players 10 minutes into the game. And he barely gets a penalty. He should have been off the park. He should be suspended. It's absolutely ridiculous. I just feel Nelson Asafa Solomona should have been made to strip naked and walk from Penrose to the airport. You know, and then they should have just put a little QR code boarding pass on his tallywhacker and he could use that to get on the plane and piss off back to Melbourne. It's absolutely ridiculous the fact that he stayed on the field. There needs to be some consistency. Peter Valandis, you're doing wonderful stuff with the NRL, but we just want to be on a level playing field, mate. I couldn't agree more, Di Hemwood, and I think we actually should set up a meeting between you and Nelson Asafa Solomona so you can tell him to, to his face. Yeah, I'll tell him exactly what a lovely guy he is and if he wants another coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the Mad Monday Podcast, brought to you by Wendy's Maze Rates. Break hunger without breaking the bank. This podcast is recorded in the Export Beer Garden Studio.